Claire Trevor was an American actress who starred in 65 feature films from 1933 to 1982. She won an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress for her role in Key Largo, 1948, and was nominated for the same award for her roles in Dead End, 1937, and The High and the Mighty, 1954. She also appeared in the classic Western Stagecoach, 1939, opposite John Wayne, who became a lifelong friend and co-star. Trevor was born Claire Wimlinger on March 8, 1910, in Brooklyn, New York, to a French tailor father and an Irish mother. She developed an interest in acting at an early age and attended Columbia University and the American Academy of Dramatic Arts. She made her stage debut in 1929 with a repertory company in Michigan and her Broadway debut in 1932 in Whistling in the Dark. She signed with Warner Brothers in 1933 and appeared in several short films and B-movies, often playing tough or glamorous women. She worked with Spencer Tracy, Edward G., Robinson, and Humphrey Bogart, among others, and gained recognition for her performance as a slum girl in Dead End, 1937, which earned her her first Oscar nomination. She also starred in the radio series Big Town with Robinson from 1937 to 1940. In 1939, she was cast by John Ford as a dance hall girl in Stagecoach, which was a breakthrough role for both her and Wayne. She showed her versatility and sensitivity as an actress and received top billing over Wayne. She later reunited with him in three more films, Allegheny Uprising, 1939, Dark Command, 1940, and The High and the Mighty, 1954. In the 1940s, she continued to play strong and complex characters, such as a gangster's mauled in Murder, My Sweet, 1944, a singer in Crack Up, 1946, and an alcoholic singer in Key Largo, 1948, which won her an Oscar. She also appeared on television, winning an Emmy Award for Dodgeworth, 1956. In the 1950s and 1960s, she worked less frequently but still delivered memorable performances, such as a plane crash survivor in The High and the Mighty, 1954, which earned her another Oscar nomination, A Murderess in the Stranger Wore a Gun, 1953, A Widow in How to Murder Your Wife, 1965, and A Mother in Marjorie Morningstar, 1958. She retired from acting in 1982 after appearing in Kiss Me Goodbye. She devoted herself to philanthropy and supported various causes, such as animal welfare, cancer research, and arts education. She established the Claire Trevor School of the Arts at the University of California, Irvine, where she donated $10 million. She was married three times, to Clark Andrews from 1938 to 1942, to Silos William Dunsmore from 1943 to 1947, and to Milton H. Bryn from 1948 until his death in 1979. She had one son, Charles Bryn, with her third husband. She died on April 8, 2000, at the age of 90, in Newport Beach, California. She was buried at Pacific View Memorial Park. She is remembered as one of the finest actresses of her generation and a pioneer of film noir.